All right, Doris. So what I'm being able to see here is that in the past there was a decision that was delayed. Okay. Clearly a decision that wasn't being made here, okay, and I think more than a decision not being made, I think there was a lack of clarity in the past here. That's what I'm being able to see. <laughs> right now, I think someone out here had to give you some kind of clarification or someone out here, you know, had to tell you um, what they really, really felt or they just had to open up, okay. But someone wasn't an open book. There was a liar that you were dealing with. Liar, cheater, manipulator, person, whoever it was. Okay. Right now, it feels like um, you or this person, someone out here is very, very closed off. Okay. Someone out here is staying emotionally detached. Could be the same person, could be you. Like, you know, right energies can be um, both of you or it can be a mix. Now, what's on their mind is that with the Empress in reverse, yeah, this person sees you as someone, I think, who doesn't give a shit for them. Okay, uh, they see you as someone who is not really being participative, not nurturing the connection. You've just completely let go of the connection. You're doing your own thing. Okay, earlier you were very loving, caring. Okay, and very, um, um, you know, very giving. Okay, and because of which the connection was growing. But yes, I understand that all that can, all that love and nurturing and taking care and protect the protecting the uh, relationship was coming only from you, which is why now you're in this place of where you're in a resentment place, okay? Where you're like, you know what, I did all the work and I got nothing back out here. How they view you as a queen of sorts. So they clearly know they fucked up, they know they messed up, and now they know that they either come towards you with the truth, which they didn't, which is why they're still in their head, they're staying emotionally detached. This person needs to make a decision, they're not doing it, okay? They're just being very diplomatic. What I mean is that the person knows that they have to worry unpleasant choices to make. Either they come towards you, ask for forgiveness and to go on with you and give you what you want or completely cut off the connection and move away and move on from you. Both are tough decisions, okay? Because they can't even move on and at the same time, they can't even give you what you want or they just can't be at par with you, whatever it is. But they know that if they need to come towards you, they better have the truth. They better have something good to say, okay? Now, deep down, this person has a lot of love for you, but this person is not wanting to be vulnerable because that's the kind of person that you're dealing with because they're impressing the page of cups here. A very horrible match, all right? And that is absolutely... Um, immature energy with the page of cups and the reverse it's even more worse okay now this person out here is someone you know who tries to you know overpower their emotions and try to see things from a very realistic point of view okay because so that they don't get driven away in their emotions but again this person knows they need to apologize but they're choosing not to apologize okay they know they fucked up they know it okay but they're choosing to stay closed off not wanting to be vulnerable okay um, uh, five of wands is on, uh, is how they want to move forward with you. So, which means that they want to move forward with you, but I think they're stuck in their head. There's like a tug of war going on. They don't know what to do about this. Should they, should they not? Their head is something else. Their heart is saying something else, you know? So there's a lot of conflict and chaos, inner struggle within their head. Maybe they realize that you both are just not on the same page and there's too much bickering going on, ego fights, you know, ego battles going on, you know? So that's how they, they, they just feel maybe it's on the right time to move forward for a reconciliation or whatever it is behind the scenes what's going on is that i feel you both one of you is emotionally more involved in this connection than the other out here this person is still not being able to give you the commitment out here okay the connection is there the connection is there but you don't feel it or they don't feel it okay or probably you both don't feel it why it's only because of this stuck and stagnant energy out here of being indecisive and you guys are at a stalemate your advice is to wait, okay, with the three of wands. With the three of wands is more like waiting energy, being patient, okay, and waiting for your ships to come in. All right, let's see. What's the ace of swords in reverse? What is the ace of swords in reverse? They didn't give you clarity about commitment, right? They knew you want structure. They knew you want commitment. They knew you want marriage. But they won't give you that clear communication. So I think this person keeps things very handy. Okay. Which is creating a lot of confusion here. This person creates illusions. Okay. And which, you know, even clouds their judgment or your judgment out this. But whatever the clarity was not there, whatever confusion was there, it's all about in and around commitment, in and around that stability, security, or in and around wanting to take this connection to the next level out here. What's the two of swords? Yeah. See, they want to talk to you, right? But they're in two minds. That's what's happening here. This person wants to take a new approach towards you. But maybe it's still going to be immature. Page of cups and rivers, page of wands. We don't want pages. I mean, knights, I'd still say, okay, 
things even better. But where? I mean, I don't see that maturity from this person. They're still approaching the situation with the same option. Okay? They're still indecisive. They still don't know what they want. I feel they're choosing to make a decision to come towards you and do the other thing, which is come towards you, but still not being able to offer you what you want. Okay? Because they are very passionate about it. Okay? They want to make things work out with you, but when it comes to commitment, I think they're not ready. Empress in reverse. You put in the work as though as you were the only one who was very committed here. With the tower here, right? See? We see you as someone who's taken a very drastic approach and you've just like all of a sudden given them the shock of their life. You know, by completely withdrawing from the connection. I think that's what you're doing. You've completely withdrawn and this was a huge shock out of them. Okay? It like opened their eyes. They were living in an illusion that this is how it is or this is how it's okay, right? Where you, one person puts in all the work and the other person's laid back, passive. And I thought it will keep going on like that, right? But it didn't work out like that. I mean, you let the tower fall. And you made them realize. This is like an awakening, a realization that they've got. Like, what the fuck did I do? Queen of Swords here. Why is that here? Queen of Swords. I think they see you. I think uh, either this Queen of Swords energy is something which they're very passionate about and that's getting them very attracted towards you. Or not only they see you as someone very logical, cold, uh, detached, and someone, you know, who's wearing a false mask, even though you have emotions for them, but they see you as someone, you know, who's got their shit together. You know, you got options, you got a lot of suitors, you know, you're not chasing, you're not uh, begging, and, you know, for them to come back, etc. But they view you as someone like, you know, who's just like on their own, you know, you don't need anyone. Very badass. This is a real badass energy. Um, Page of Cups in reverse. <laughs> see, this person. Um, what do I say? They miss you, okay? They love you. They have feelings for you, you know? They love you, all right? They miss the memories. They reminisce a lot. But when it comes to opening up and being vulnerable, that's something that they don't do. They don't communicate. Emotional communication is fuck all. Passionate communication on point, you know. So they want to come towards you with that lighthearted energy, you know, all, all fun and games. But when it comes to the real talk, when it comes to emotions, I'm getting this person out here who's very scared of emotional vulnerability. They run from their emotions, okay. That's that's an escape. Right? They're escaping their emotions. But they miss you and they want a reconciliation with you. But they won't even ask. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, this person knows that uh, having a reconciliation with you is going to create a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, you know, etc. And that's why they're choosing to keep themselves stuck in there. Okay? If they want, they can get out of this energy and have this page of cups kind of communication with you. All right? But they're choosing not to. Why? Because they want to stay away from the drama. They don't want the drama. They don't want all that crying. Or not crying. Actually, not really crying. They don't want to face you. Because, you know, if they face you, once they face you, it's going to be really chaotic. And they're going to have to, you know, hope you know, open the can of worms and they're going to start talking, okay? And the only solution they see how you both can be together is if they open up and get emotionally vulnerable. Forget being vulnerable. I just see emotionally available, which they still aren't doing, okay? It's like passionately, yeah, they're available, but emotionally, they're unavailable. That's what it is. And that's what your biggest problem is because you're fed about her. I, you know what I'm getting? They keep coming towards you with the passionate cycle. You assume it's, it's love, okay? You assume it's love. But they don't do it. And then again, you guys break up or there's a separation or there's a break between you guys. They go back. Again, they come towards you. So you don't have clarity about commitment. They come towards you with emo staying emotionally detached but still wanting to have a passionate communication or a passionate uh, connection with you. They have a lot of love for you. They reminisce you. They miss you. But they still won't open up. Okay, And they know they need to apologize. But they're very egocentric out here. You stop putting in the work and that's given them a huge awakening, a huge fucking realization. They know that they better come towards you otherwise you're going to cut their head the fuck off. All right? But the problem here is they don't want to come towards you as yet because they want to stay in their head they want to stay in their comfortable place okay they don't know what to do should they come towards you you know and should they um, approach the situation head on and see for where it is or they just don't want to approach the situation and they want to run away from the circumstances okay so they're keeping the situation on hold what's the level in reverse here what's that they're coming their own way guys yeah, see, two of pentacles in reverse. I think that you have been juggling this person for a very long time here, okay? And I think now you're choosing yourself. Uh, you could have gone back and forth with the decision because this person out here, had, it was a very instable, unstable connection, very on and off connection. I think you're choosing to drop this person here or 
or no i think that's what it is yeah i think you're choosing to drop this person okay that's why your advice is to wait your advice is to wait wait does not mean you sit there waiting uh, for this person to come in waiting means like manifesting that's the kind of manifestation right you know what you want you manifest it let it go and get get going with your day okay just keep doing what you're doing that's what the advice is but yeah i think uh, this person out here is um, was juggling you i think this person was juggling a decision okay which could be you giving you a commitment or not or probably coming towards you or not or probably you and another person or you and other responsibilities this person knows they need to drop something and i think they are i think they are could be dropping their ego could be dropping uh, their uh, fear okay of commitment anything what's the three of wands here three of wands here three of wands yeah see your advice is okay your advice is to stay emotionally very very balanced all right don't be overly attached to them okay and don't be completely logical all right just be balanced out here you know exactly how to be emotionally manipulative not in a bad way but in a way where you can protect yourself okay just just learn to guard yourself protect yourself again the cards are not asking you to give up on them they're asking you to wait but at the same time be patient okay don't be vulnerable but just stay stable okay like how the water is like just just be very calm all right just be very calm because i feel there is a new beginning coming between you guys with ace of wands here right yeah that's a passionate you're picking right clean slate start from scratch for a sort please that's the outcome out here so it looks like there is no communication yet between your both because someone's still choosing to stay in their head for a sort for a sort for a sort nice someone's thinking about commitment okay The moment you give up hope, this person is thinking about commitment with you. See, that's why they're asking you to wait. Okay, maybe things are working out in your favor. This person needs time. This person is sleeping over this entire uh, topic. I think it's asking you to. Um, uh, the outcome is that you're just going to be more settled. I mean, this person is definitely wanting uh, to put in more energy. on healing themselves a eh? and secondly this person needs some time off to think about commitment out here but i think they are they are pick you see there's love all over the cards out here okay there's passion out here but this person is choosing to get themselves stuck in this okay a lot of negative thoughts is also i'm getting a lot of negative thoughts <sighs> this person's just resting you know they want to be withdrawn right now But I think the reason they're being withdrawn is because they're getting divinely guided towards you. Towards you, there's some kind of spiritual knowledge, wisdom. They're probably talking to other people about what they should do. You know how they should go about with this connection. Should they commit or whatever? But I think they're getting a lot of spiritual knowledge or just a lot of divine guidance, okay, from the universe about what to do next. That's a very good energy out here. That's okay. You can let them be where they are. You, on the other hand, do what you're supposed to do, okay, with the advice out here. You do what you gotta do. that shit's going to work out on its own all right so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and see you next time bye